Hi, and welcome back to the Skin Clinic. This is the Preset Channel, and today we're going to be going through how to install a custom skin. And to be fair, it's my skin. We're going to do the preset skin, but we're going to show you how to do it from the base model to the retro as well, just to get you showing what we can do and how we can do it. So please stick around to see the latest video. And also, don't forget, Park to Legend will be back very soon. So when the full game is released, Park to Legend will be starting with Taunton Town. So let me know about this installation guide down below. Please do like, subscribe and get notified of future uploads to the channel because we've got lots coming with Park to Legend and other guides and all as well. So please do get the comments down below as well. And let's go and have a look how you install a custom skin. So here we are with our basic skin that comes with Football Manager as we know it. Now, what do we do to get a custom skin? That is the question and that's the answer we're going to give you straight away. So what you want to do, you want to go to FM Scout. It's also available from Sort It Out. So when you're on the site, what you want to do is go to Download Now. Link will be in the description down below. It's also available from FM Base. Sort It Out. DF11s has got it on there as well. Football Manager Graphics, another one. They've all got it. It's available from everywhere. So click on Download Now. You might need to do this a couple of times. For some reason it does this when you're not logged in as a member. So just click on Download Now and it comes up with this here. So what it's saying is it's going to redirect you to Mediafire in five seconds. So it takes you to this. This is what I've set up myself. So it's got an actually an FM setup which runs through quite a lot of the bits we're going to show you in here. Config, always need a config. Graphics, extra graphics in there as well. The green version and the retro version. So green is from last year. Retro is same take as last year, but because Football Manager have now gone dark, gone away from all the purpleness, we don't need to have the, the dark version. So it's now retro. Important information about if you wish to donate to get the extra skins, views, and how to get the graphics looking like mine in the game. So what you do, you click on the preset retro skins, it'll then download, depending on the speed of your computer, to a few seconds in there. Now I use WinRAR to do all my parts for this, so you click on that. So once you've clicked on it, you'll then get WinRAR will pop up with the relative information like so. So the base skin, we've also got the wide action faces, wide action photos, which is available from Sort It Out. They've kindly uh, made a face pack for those same background pictures, but also in a wide version, if you're interested in that. So what you would do, you'd get your base retro, get that into your FM Football Manager 23 skins folder, like so. So you get your preset retro base skin in the wide action as well. If you have donated for the pro versions, that's up to you. You'll call entirely, no pressure on doing it. Just to me makes the game a lot better. And it's just a few beer tokens for myself. So once we've got all this in to the game, so that, as I said, it's into Sports Interactive Football Manager 2023 skins. If you do not have it exactly like you see it here, it won't work. If you're just gonna be using the game with the retro base, or the sort it out wide action photos, you need both of them. They work off each other. So you always have to have all of them in there if you're gonna be using all of them. If you're just using, if you're just using the Presec Retro Base Skin, that's all you need, plus your config. Don't forget to put your config in. Very important to have that in there as well. And what you then do is go to the game and load it up. So here we are back on the game. And what we want to do is we go onto the FM button at the top there, Click on that there and click on Preferences. If you've not done it before, you'll normally come up like this. What you want to do then is click on Advanced. It'll come up with Most Common. Now click on to Interface. Now this part is very, very important. Down the list a little bit, it says Skin, like this here. So you'll see the box. What you want to do is untick the top one, tick the middle one. Very, very important. If you don't do that, it will not load the game skin properly. So then what we want to do is come up here and choose your option. Now, all of the options are all labeled correctly so that all available in the skin pack. 
So what we'll do, we then choose our skin. As we can see, the Football Manager one's at the top. We then click onto the Presec Base Beta. Depending on the version you want, if you've donated, like I said, you will get the retro ones there, but this is the Base Beta. Obviously, we're at beta stage at the moment. Click onto that, and then down the bottom, it says Reload Skin. If you haven't unticked these correctly, it won't be available. So just tick those boxes like so, Reload Skin. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, it's how quickly it'll load it up, depending on whether you've got faces, kits, background pictures, and all the like. And as we can see, we now have Wolverhampton Wanderers looking far, far cleaner and smarter than it was a few minutes ago. Now, if we click onto a player, Ruben Neves for sake's sake, you can see it just looks way tidier, way smarter than the original base skin. Lots of things that are going to come about. There's some bits missing at the moment because we aren't in manager of Wolverhampton Wanderers. This is just a trial little piece I put together. But as we can see, just looking absolutely wonderful. If we click on Wolves again, you can look at all the information. Players, you can see it all here. We've also got, yes, they're all back again. We've got the percentages. Everyone loves them. There's not a lot of people who don't like them and would love them back in the game for proper, but Football Manager does insist on doing their heart. What I do like to do, I've got my own views, which are also in that download pack that you've seen earlier on. So main squad view, click on that, load it up, and there we can see. So you can have the hearts in there and you can have the, the sharpness all in there as well just depending on what, what you want yourselves, really. This is one of my views that I use in the games. If you want to use it, by all means, go for it as well. What we will do, we'll just resize all these. Yes, you can move it all around to suit where you want it. You know, if you just want to see the flags for the countries or whether you want to see the whole thing, it's entirely up to you. You can just move it all around. The biggest problem you're going to find, if you do not do it now, when you come back in after loading the game up, things will be different. So very, very important you go back after you've loaded your skin, go to preferences again, go to interface, down to the skin box again, click on use cash in to decrease load times, untick the middle one, you'll then see that the reload has disappeared, then press confirm and everything will be back to what it should be and each time you go on a player and come back in, everything stays absolutely beautiful. Now, for everyone who wants the Presec Pro skins, if you haven't got them already, I'll just load it up a second so you can have a quick look at what you're going to get. So we go through the same principle, preferences, make sure you tick the boxes. It should be fine now because you have already loaded the skin and all your background in the background's there. Then we come into the skin. Now, the view looks the same. It does, he says. But oh my word. This is where things totally and utterly change around completely depending on what you've got depending on what you want everything is available to you you know different options depending on how you want it to look there's so much more scope so much more stuff available what we will do we'll just take over a club a minute just so we can show you the full information so this is now the preset skin with all the bells and whistles like we were talking about earlier on it's just so much cleaner and better again than the base skin as we go into the squad now, just click on a player. You can see just the information is absolutely unbelievable. What you can get, just change it all up to whatever you want. Player traits, you can have any anything you want really. So if we do preferred moves, you know, you, depending on how you want to choose and make it look. Bands, there's so much scope for how the game can look, but entirely your call on what you want to do. But like I said, this is available, it is donation, but that's your call at the end of the day. Everything's here. If we go to the staff, we've got a lovely staff screen. Like I said, the club information, finances, the club vision, and the home screen, of course. It's just, again, change it up to whatever you want. When you go to do it, untick the top box, because otherwise, again, stuff will go back to the strangeness that it does. But this is the Football Manager skin for you. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Please do, like I've said, get the comments down below. Here we are, like I said, absolutely amazing. If you want to get the base skin, by all means, it's down below. If you want to get the retro skins and help me out with a couple of beer tokens, absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much indeed. But like I said, comments down below on what you think. Are you enjoying Football Manager 23? 
Don't forget, Park to Legend will be back very soon, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>